Good evening, everybody. Dr. Glow here with Black Girl Everything. Hello, hello, hello. We are approaching Women's History Month. Very excited about ending off February because it means it's almost spring. And I have someone who's going to be having us all fashionably moving forward, especially me, even though I don't need eyewear, I need eyewear. <laughs> so I have Mark <laughs> over here who's going to talk about her business. For those of all you tuning in, I can see the comments. Please leave comments on Facebook. And those of you watching later on uh, YouTube, I respond back to your comments later. Don't forget to subscribe. So Kita, please tell everybody your name and where you're from. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm humbled to be here. Thank you for inviting me. I am Marquita Lawrence. I am the founder and CEO of Glamour for Eyes, LLC. So, and as you can see, I require glasses. I have been wearing glasses since high school, but a uh, funny thing is I'm not the only one that's blind in my family. Um, so glasses is a thing. It's been a part of our life. Um, and so with that being said, I feel that being this business owner, Glamour for Eyes, it's a situation or a need that is out there. It's prevalent. You, there's no way that you're going to go through life without seeing somebody that requires glasses. And over the years, it's been, you know, back in the 90s, I'm not telling my age or anything, but it's been a cliche of being four eyes. And so that's where that name came from, Glamour for Eyes, because I wanted it to be something more than just a nerdy requirement where you're teased for it or um, you're just made to feel uncomfortable because you you need some um, glasses to to be able to see clearly. Nowadays, it's now a fashion statement and it's, it's, a, it, it's an accessory. And so that's what I want it to be. That's why I started this business. Um, it is supposed to be fun. So if you go to my website, glamourfries.com, you're going to see all kinds of glasses uh, something more basic for those who are more in the shell and in, in, in their box versus someone who's also more flamboyant and more colorful like myself. Um, we have something that works with everybody. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you for that nice, thorough introduction. It sounds like you just read a whole article to me. I appreciate really? it. Well, I had to be, girl, I'm nervous. <laughs> Everybody was tuning in for the first few minutes. They got all the information. Yeah, Amazing. They don't have no <laughs> questions, no questions <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> Trust me, the more you talk, the more questions I come up with. Okay. I just create questions in my head. So, but let's let's dial back a little bit and tell me where are you actually from? Because you didn't mention that in this video. Okay, so I'm originally from Miami. Okay. Um, uh, we are Floridians, but we are based here. We live now in Alabama, me and my family. Um, I am a single mother of two teenage girls. And I created this business for my family to be able to, to provide for them and um, focus on my ministry and people, the love of people. That is amazing. How old are your girls? 16 and 15. Oh, wow. You got it hard. Yeah. The yeah. 17. Yeah, well, my youngest will be 15 this year. My eldest will be 17 this year. Don't remind me. <laughs> it's gone by. They so almost much. grown, but they think they grown as grown. Right, right. <laughs> then they're going to still come back to your house when they're 25, 36. Right. Oh, they don't 45. plan on leaving. That's what they say. They're not going anywhere. But okay. Oh, they must really like you. <laughs> I knew I feel special. <laughs> I was like, I you guess I'll be sure. working and taking care of you. Okay. <laughs> hey, listen, thank you, guys. I know how you feel. I know how you feel. So <laughs> you started this business. So I'm really interested in the brand because my wife, she also can't see to save her life. Like okay. I don't let her drive at night because she really can't see. Okay. Um. So she's been really in this this move about fashionable glasses and everything else. I was all so excited when I found you because now I know how to keep my money black in this process. Yeah. Oh, Instead of who you, I'm yeah. supporting in other support. ways. So now we um, had you. Yes. So in regards to the design of the glasses, how does all that process work? Oh, it's tedious. And interestingly, I also use my daughter for that. My oldest daughter, she loves to draw. She is into fashion and design and just uh, art, period. So it starts with her usually. we And this is going to sound weird. We're both into anime. Okay. So, I get a lot of ideas from my anime cartoons that I watch or any kind of cartoon, um, even if it's the old school cartoons that I, that I used to watch. Um, so sometimes the idea just comes up and it's just about initiating and drawing that out. And fortunately for me, I have artistic children that help out with that. So, and then it's about going to the the vendor that we have to give them that, that idea. Um, it is a tedious process. Um, but it's also fun at the same time. It, I, 
I, I, I love it. I love the excitement. It excites me. Yeah. Yeah, that would be exciting to create mm-hmm. and then watch it actually come, yeah. come about. Like, it, I yeah. love creating because creation brings life. Yeah. So I'm just all about using your hands, using your mind. And just like, even when you're stressed out, one of the best things you're stressed out is color. Yeah. Let me draw a picture, paint all the, and just really just get into yeah. it, that creative part about it. Mm-hmm. It's so amazing. So I'm just really excited. So how many styles of glasses do you usually keep on the market at a time? Ooh. I think on our website, and I didn't even, I should have looked at that number, but I know it's over 50. That wow. Currently. Yeah, it's well over 50 um, different styles. And I also get bored. Um, okay. You can blame my ADHD sometimes. Adults have that too. Clearly. <laughs> um. So because I get bored and I like switching it up, I tend to look at and and remove what's old and come up with something new. Uh, yeah. I told my my team that I would like to drop something new at least once a month or every other month at least, and then keep the ones that folks are more comfortable with, like the basic yeah. for me, um, just there. Because one of the questions that our customers have asked is, do you have something that's not so, you know, out there? <laughs> so, and I do, you know, and. I have to remember that not everybody's like me. So yeah. um, I try to cater and I want to cater to as many people as possible. Yeah. Like I'm just keep on staring at your frames that you have on right now. I think they're dope. Oh, I was like, you. I want those. I, you know, I spent like 10 minutes trying to figure out because, and that's what happens when I have too many glasses. I'm like, well, I can wear this one. This will go with this one. But I love that. That's just my personality. And so a lot of times uh, folks will see me and they're like, oh, you've got a new pair of glasses already. I have personally over 25 pairs of my own glasses and I keep it in a nice case and I choose them based off of how I'm feeling, what I'm wearing, mm-hmm. all of that. So yeah, that's dope. So talk to me about the weight, because I know there's a lot of concerns because I Lucky I have my questions ready because my wife wears glasses. So there's a concern with the whole bridge port here, right? And the okay. weight of your glasses. Okay. So talk to people about how do you balance that out for like the, the frames to fit people's faces as well as the weight on their nose because people don't have strong noses all the time. Me personally, I like everything lightweight. I yeah. first, even if I have, I think I have a very strong nose, but I don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable. I personally don't like that. So I always choose frames that are light. You're mm-hmm. going to see that on our website, the the size, the weight, the, the width um, as well. I do know that if you are a prescription wearer, it will affect the weight of the glasses depending on how mm-hmm. thick your frames or how thick your lenses are. Mm-hmm. So you would have to consider that. But overall, if you get any of our glasses, it's not going to be too heavy. It's always going to be uh, durable, but also lightweight, comfortable for you. That's amazing. And how long has this business been in existence? Technically 2022. I started okay. this November, 2022. However, uh, you know, the idea of a new business, you think, oh, I'm going in, it's going to be great. I'm going to be great. A million customers tomorrow. (laughs) So uh, the launch date got pushed back and back and back. And so officially we did not launch everything with our full website until December of 2023. Uh, Wow, so you're still a newbie out here. Very new, very new. Need all of the support and and love the support that we have been getting. Um, but it is a process. It was not easy. It is not easy. Yeah. Uh, interestingly, even though people can't see and need glasses, um, they can be a little bit hesitant to buy glasses online as well. Yeah. So I've been trying to cover those, bridge those gaps so that they feel comfortable and provide information that they would need to know in order to get the best glasses that they need. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm really excited, especially because you Thank just started you. this. Honestly, you're really only really 90 days in. Very much so. Very much so. So I'm I'm excited about where we're going, the journey that we've taken, you know, from the time we started till now officially. Mm-hmm. And we've gotten a lot of response. I'm even surprised. I was surprised that you even reached out to me. I'm like, oh, really? Okay. No, I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh, she makes glasses. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because listen, most people, they're interested in businesses and opportunities with people who, who they have something that they need, right? Yeah. Now, I know my wife loves collecting glasses. I actually love wearing glasses as well, even though I don't need them. I have 
I have amazing right. vision, praise God. So right. I can I just wear them just for the fashion sense, exactly. right? Of just exactly. going with my outfits. They look really cute. And I'm right. also a doctor, so it just really balances it off in certain environments. Exactly. Or when I'm looking a little tired, put some glasses on, nobody really knows how tired you really are. Because girl, the bags, the bags. O M G. Especially when you've been so, up no, working a lot. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like when I saw you, I was like, oh, this is dope. And I was going through your page. I was like, oh, those is nice. Those is nice. Let me get to know you. And then plus my goal ultimately is to meet a million people like and know them. So I just collect people. I always want to know about people in their businesses. So I'm excited to get to know you and to know that you just started. So I'm really excited to see us in five years of where your journey is going and how this is going to grow. Because now you know me, Dr. Glow, and all I'm going to do is push your business. Oh my goodness. To the end of time, trust me. Honestly, I won't even think about it like that because anybody that's been in my corner from the very beginning, I will always need them and appreciate yeah. them. So Dr. Glove, you're not going anywhere, okay? And I'm I not going nowhere. We're like homies. Yeah, like my exactly. cousin. <laughs> I appreciate it. This is this is a great platform and I'm I'm excited about the adventure. You know, it's an, it's yeah. an adventure uh, for me and my family, so. Yeah, no, I'm definitely, happy. definitely is going to be. So where do you see yourself? So right now you're just selling on your website. Right, that's where we started. Okay, yeah. so what are some of your dreams? Like, where are we going to take this? Where are you going to be at? Oh, don't get me started. Um, I want to know. Let's manifest together right now. Go. Okay, so eventually I would like to be able to offer contact lenses as well. Prescription. Oh, you're going, you're going to be offering contact lenses. Yeah. Okay. I would also like to, or I will be at offering another part of Glamour for Eyes because when it comes to vision, it's more so not just the physical vision, mm -hmm. but it's also an, an inner deeper vision. Um, so I, my mm -hmm. idea is to have a separate, not separate entity, but an expansion of glamour for eyes, seeing the world glamorously, but um, through your, your own personal purpose and vision for you. So that might include affirmations that might mm -hmm. include, you know, sweatshirts, t-shirts, coffee mugs, slogans, things that are going to encourage you to see the world glamorously, to encourage you to see your path in front of you, whether you have glasses physically or not. So um, that's two of the things that I'm definitely interested in. Vision is more than just being able to see physically, but it's being able to see, you know, the beauty around you, being able to see what your goals are, um, what you want to see for your family, um, your spiritual strengths, your weaknesses, things that you need to work on and being able to mark that path clearly in front of you. I am very inspired by that. <laughs> Thank you. I am, I am, I am because you've taken it beyond the product. Yeah. You and, and then like, you know, I'm also thinking about because I'm also an early childhood educator. And uh, one of the things we do with my children because I run a Head Start program is mm -hmm. we get their their eyes checked right? When yeah. they're young. <clears throat> so mm -hmm. I tend to, all the time we do this every school school year, I always have at least two kids who need I, who need glasses. Yeah. And I'm always the most happiest when I find like the one year olds who need glasses, right? So mm -hmm. I'm just like, yo, you couldn't see the world. Yeah. And their whole life shifts. Their whole yeah. world is so different because people don't even understand about how um, with vision, for, especially for children, how it affects behaviors, it affects learning, it affects everything because no one clearly got their eyes checked by a professional right. to, to re realize that they're not acting out because they feel like they're acting out because they can't see. Exactly. Right? And because then their ears are hyper up to hear. Yep. Like, it's just yep. crazy. Mm -hmm. It's so, just so touching. Talk yeah. to me. Go. Um. So glasses for children, we also provide prescription and non-prescription if they if they have a prescription or, or need and of course with children they don't know anything about accessorizing so more than likely it would be prescription frames that their parents will get and we also make sure that we educate uh, I am not an optometrist although I've yeah. been wearing glasses for years I'm not an optometrist so I will always educate and say you need to go get your eyes checked on a regular basis I'll also educate on eyeglass um, maintenance I'll also, mm -hmm. uh, you know, address, you know, if it is just an accessory for you, how you can choose the right frames for your face shape uh, yeah. with your clothing. All of that is covered. Uh, I actually have different tips and facts, um, how to uh, find your PD instructions, guides. I have a YouTube channel that instructs and guides individuals on how to make sure they care for their glasses as well as their eyes. Uh, wow. Because ultimately, 
you know, it's important to be like to what you were saying. It's important to be able to see what's around you. It contributes to your understanding and belief, yeah. you know, so uh, it's more than just uh, going online to buy a pair and looking good. It, it definitely goes deeper, deeper than that. Um, and I'm, you know, that's going to be a steady ongoing process for us too. Yeah, I, th- I really love that because what I'm hearing for me is that you created an organization that has a much deeper vision mm-hmm. than just, you know, something fashion, right? Yes. It has real meaning. And that's what's going to create your brand and, and allow you to excel within your brand because mm-hmm. you're not just clearly just focused on the selling of the glasses. It's more what is the message behind that and what is the right. intent behind the business and what that's going to create for you. I think business owners get so caught and I'm going to sell this product. Oh, I like lip gloss. I'm going to sell lip gloss. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they're not here anymore. Right. Right? Right. There's a lot mm-hmm. of businesses I met in 2020 when we were all quiet that don't exist because they didn't do it with purpose. Yes. Yes. And honestly, purpose is so important to myself. It's important to my family. Um, There is nothing that we do that does not uh, get guided by what our sincere purpose is. And that is to help people, Um, not just physically, but spiritually, all of that. It's, it's who we are. Uh, Mm -hmm. And so um, it drives us. It's our motivating force. And then, of course, you want to make sure that we do everything in a way that represents our creator in the best way that we can. And so mm-hmm. it's not just about our name being out there as a company, but it's about who, you know, they're seeing. Are, are we representing our creator the way that we need to? And that's just how we uh, view things, how we do our business. And I take that very seriously. Um, and so it's always going to be our best foot forward. And to that, too, I've, you know, I've seen a lot of you know, eyeglass companies, even with myself, when having to go purchase glasses, they're expensive. You know, it is about money. It's about yeah. the name. And it's not about our name. It's not about Glamour for Eyes. It's about whether a single mom like me can afford glasses for her children. And so when you go to our website, you'll never see anything over 60 bucks, if that. Actually, right now, it's probably not even over 50. Um, there will never be a time where I will send or 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 have frames that are expensive never and so that is just the uh, morale that we have Um, Mm -hmm. I've been told oh you can sell these these are nice frames you can sell these for 150 you can sell these for 200 that's people are already dealing with that (laughs) you know they're already paying you know with their insurance they only charge or cover about 150 to 200 dollars and that's if you have good vision insurance and so and that's just the frames by itself so I want people to see that we're different they don't have to pay an arm and a leg for good quality and cute glasses and then still get prescriptions in. So, you know, 200 pair of glasses, you can get three pairs of glasses for $200. Yeah. With us. Okay. Yeah. So since you mentioned that in regards to prescriptions, so how does that work when people get the prescription? Do they actually provide that on your website and it comes to them already set? Yes. Yes. So. Um, what happens is when they go online and they choose the frames that they want, there's an option for them to customize the frames. They can choose whether they just want the frames by itself with no prescription, or they can enter in their prescription information, and we make sure that uh, our vendor gets it done completely. If there's any issues or questions, we reach out to the customer uh, to make sure that we have the correct information. They even have an option to upload their prescription as well, um, mm-hmm. and so it's seamless. And then when they're just like any optometrist, when their their glasses gets filled, we get that back and then we send that to our our customer in oh, a nice wonderful. cute box. <laughs> a nice cute box. <laughs> I'm happy you have a nice cute box. Personal. <laughs> so do you have sunglasses? I do. Ooh, I didn't know the answer to that question. I really wondering if you do yeah, have sunglasses. Do have we have to protect our eyes from the UV rays. Yes, we do. First of all, my we eyes have are to very look sensitive. Good doing it, <laughs> I have very sensitive brown eyes. Yes. So as even sometimes, even inside um, buildings and stuff like that, I have to wear mm-hmm. sunglasses if the lighting is, especially if the LED lights. Yes, um, my eyes just don't take it very well. So I'm always a pair of glasses everywhere at all my offices mm-hmm. all the time, and we even blue light glasses. Can I get blue light glasses on your website? Yes, you can. 
oh my goodness, you know how much shopping I'm gonna do when I get off of this yes, call? Yes, yes. And driving lenses, yes. And driving, so yes. the driving lenses have anti-glare, is that what it does? Yes, you can get all of that, yeah. <laughs> I am highly excited. You have, you have those options. And there will not be a time where we don't offer um, sunglasses because one of our customers and actually a very close friend of mine, he is blind. And okay. so, um, like I said, it's more than just vision. You know, individuals require glasses sometimes just to feel comfortable in their environment. So, yeah. and I just fulfilled that order not too long ago. So um, we have everything that anybody could need. And if we don't have it, we will get it. Mm, I love that. So how can people <laughs> find you to, to get product from you? Yes, um, you can follow us on Instagram, uh, Glamour for Eyes. Uh, then we're also on Facebook, Glamour for Eyes, LLC. And then our website is www.glamourforeyes.com. You can fulfill orders on there. I will tell you, though, if you're going to get a prescription, you need to go to our website directly, uh, www.glamourforeyes.com, because our Instagram store does not support the purchase of prescription lenses it is only frames only for that option. okay perfect 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 and they can catch you on march the 9th that's <laughs> right black girl that's right Please do. Pop up. yes yes i will have yeah. all not all because that'll be too much but i'll have that's a lot of frames <laughs> yeah a lot of frames so many people come in and shop and you know yes. just exposure yes. learn about your brand exactly. so that's also streamed live on the same exact platform the whole entire event people can come into the zoom awesome. room and actually come in and talk to you about your awesome. brand and exciting. purchase from yes. you and all that other stuff so yes. i'm going to be saying send a blast out like hey you need glasses you got to be in this, in this this shop because she yes. has all the glasses for you yes please do <laughs> You're going to be all over the Thank place. You. You're going to be in the you. magazine coming up. You're going to come to the retreat. Oh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Because I know that's in New York. That is, yeah, I wish, I wish, I wish. If I knew about it sooner, I probably would. Because you come in Alabama. I'm in Alabama. <laughs> you can fly out of Atlanta. It's $180 round trip. Actually... I do that. And I will tell you this. I do have a good friend that's in New York that I visit and I do go to Atlanta to fly because that is the cheapest way to do it. Flying out of Birmingham yes. is ridiculous. Um, but I already have plans. I have it scheduled, but I will, I please know that I will be at the next one. We will make that happen that way because I know that that is something that is needed and I would love to support. Yeah, the retreat is phenomenal. <laughs> Merchant yes. is phenomenal. It's one of my yes. favorite events that I do all yes. year long. And um, yes. so I constantly drop it because it's my biggest event. But I'm just happy to have you now because you're going to become a VIP collective member regardless. So I'm going to be talking about your brand and talking about who you are. And we're going to do all these meetings together. And then I'm going to say, people are like, where do you get your glasses from? You got it from the wrong place, boo boo. You got to go glamour for eyes today. <laughs> Please. I will. I love that. I love that. And you know Watch what? me. It's so going I'm going to get my whole collection of sunglasses. I'm like, you know, I got these from Flavor Price. There you Where do you get yours from? <laughs> Your stuff. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Messing with you, I'm, 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 I'm gonna make sure that I stay stocked. Stay stocked. You better stay stocked because <laughs> I'm gonna tell people to buy, 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 buy because you got money back. And that's, and that's where I'm just at about people. And that, because you're the first eyeglass person that I found that actually creates eyeglasses that is a buy walk for business mm -hmm. so i'm always looking for ends and outs when i found you i was like there's no way i found this yeah i found this yeah. right it's so powerful because you 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 have something that everybody needs yeah yeah you know i have two people in my household that wears glasses my son first says he doesn't need them but i'm gonna tell him he has to go to glam for eyes website and go order some glasses mm -hmm. or, and first go get his eyes checked because yeah. uh the folks that don't that say they don't need them they can't see until they can. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know until they can they start can't see nothing. <laughs> no, they cannot. No, they cannot. They cannot. But definitely, yes. Tell everybody how they can follow you and they can find your stuff again as we yes, wrap this yes. interview up. Again, Instagram at Glamour for Eyes, Facebook at Glamour for Eyes. You can actually uh, also find me on TikTok at Glamour for Eyes LLC. And of course, our website is www.glamourforeyes.com. Yeah, what type of TikToks do you do? You be throwing glasses on people? <laughs> do people throw tomatoes I, at your glasses? I have been forced to get out of my box because I tell you this, this, and any content creating, I have, it's 
I it's nerve wracking for me. I'm actually a very shy person. Who um, are you? I am, it, even though people don't believe it because it's prayer, prayer, and just throwing myself out there. But um, my TikToks are informative, but they also can be funny and silly. Um, you'll see a few posts coming up soon where I even have my niece in there uh, helping me make sure that I take care of my glasses correctly. So, yeah, I had probably haven't posted on TikTok since 2027. <laughs> I have a whole page and I just. <laughs> Well, you know, there's a lot I'm of moving parts to my life. You have to cater to all people. And so there was this whole thing of the older ones are Facebook, the middle ones yeah. are Instagram, and the young ones are, and I'm like, yeah, I get I'm you. <laughs> but I, what, I, what I've realized also is that that's not necessarily my population. Yeah, yeah. But and in my case, yeah. everybody blind. So, yeah, so everybody's your population. <laughs> I need to. I'm about to have you on signs in my preschool. Like she has hey, to last this. Hey, hey, I do have it. I do have it. <laughs> that is definitely oh true. When is like Thank National you. Vision Day? That is a good question. I am still learning those those things. Because you know there's like that National Donut Day, that's yeah, not Donut Day, I'm, National, I'm, Peanut, I'm day, looking, National looking, Peanut Day. I'm going you gotta to find out what is National that. um Vision Day. Yeah. I never heard, I never realized that it actually existed in this world. I said that out loud, I was wondering, because mm -hmm. that would be a great time to put some, a campaign around that, even for yes. schools. Yes. Oh, as a matter of fact, thinking about that, I know for January and February, and I'm probably going to do it for March, uh, we give back as well. So any old glasses that you might have or anything, um, feel free to reach out to me. Um, we're also donating 200 pairs of glasses. Correction every 200 pairs of glasses purchased, we're donating 40 pairs of glasses to that cause. And I have a newsletter letter out for it and I've posted a few things out about it. Um, so vision care is very important. So to what you were saying, um, I'll probably do something like that again as well. That's dope. National Vision mm -hmm. Day, you gotta figure out what that day yeah. is. Yeah. Wear your glasses, people. Please. That'd be a great Especially TikTok. If and then you can find people, like a hundred people with like to put yeah. their air glasses on and have them send them to you and then make this really bass reel like mad glasses. Yeah. <laughs> like this. That could be dope. Yeah, I give you a whole yeah, idea. Not yeah. on my TikTok on yours because I don't post it. <laughs> okay. And I will make sure I said th this was uh, Dr. Glow's uh, idea. Please. And just, that's what you got to do. Just put my handle. Of course. Put my handle. <laughs> or put Dr. Glow. Tell people to Google me. That's my whole response. Just Google me, baby. <laughs> All right, Katie. This um, has been an amazing interview. I want to thank you thank so much you. for sharing space with me today thank and so coming much. in and um and just also being active and engaging with the posts and everything. I was like, I see you. Okay. You're engaging myself so much. That's why you're coming across my own. Oh, World Sight Day is the second Thursday in October. Thank you, 12E. Somebody told us on Facebook. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Yes, he comes to the retreat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to save that. That's actually, I'm going to put that. Well, it should automatically come up on my calendar. So I'm going to start creating something. Yeah, the sec that's the second Thursday of October, which is the the weekend right. Uh, I'm sorry again. I'm not doing this on purpose, but it's a weekend right before the retreat. Thursday right before the retreat. It's okay. So we'll, have, we'll form a campaign around that. We'll talk about it. I'm really excited, especially because when school starts and everything else like that. I'm, I'm also about, for me, one of the big things, especially my VIP collective members, because you're going to be a VIP collective member. Um, one of my things about that is just how we can market your brand and just to increase your visibility mm -hmm. through that, you know, because my whole goal is ultimately to increase, increase your net worth through our network of Black mm -hmm. Girl from Black Girl Everything. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be a great initiative, especially within schools and especially schools of children of color right? and how that is important, especially even in the South. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. Um, That's a whole nother conversation we can have yes. for another day. <laughs> Yes. We'll do a we'll do an Instagram yeah. live about that. Yeah. And let me tell you, I'm already a VIP member. I know because you fancy. I mm -hmm. keep on saying that to all these other people who fronting about being a member. They missed uh -uh. out on the purpose. No, I, I did it. I did it early. I did it early. Because <laughs> you was a winner. So make sure you on 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 oh goodness, you know, Thursdays we're doing Thursday is Lena Pat and she's doing the session on um publishing your story, how to increase your revenue through publishing books. Interesting. Yes, that's what our training is about on Thursday for VI uh, for VIP collective members only. That's where you get those BGE gem sessions. You're going to get an email about it, and mm -hmm. then you're also going to get a reminder to tune into the Zoom 
right? Okay. And then if you happen to be like busy making glasses, it's okay because you get access to a recording of it. But you want to be in a room because you ask real questions because he's really talking about how to generate revenue through okay. stuff like with coloring books and literature. And she's also a graphic designer. She's dope. I did my last mini expo on her last week. So she's coming okay. back for individualized oh, training great. session with you guys. So you okay. want to be in the space because it's going to be dope. For those of you who are not a member, you guys are missing out. Yeah. Because that's, every that's month we have somebody before. new. And then next week we're talking to our, we have our PR professional coming in. Now that's something I would need anyway. So yeah. Yeah. So all about, yeah. it's all about making that money. That's yeah. the whole point. Join yeah. the club. We're going to increase your revenue. That's all we want to do. Thank you. Thank you. This is all awesome. right, love. So it's been great talking to you. I actually just talked to you for Thank hours. You. You're very relatable. Thank you. I try to be. Yeah. I try Easy to, to talk be. To I like that people, I uh, love people and detract people, something like that, whatever. I just made that up. You did. I love it. I make stuff up all the time. <laughs> trust me. He was like, oh, that was so inspiring. I know yeah. I came up with it two seconds ago. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's been great for all of those of you who are watching on Facebook. Thank you so much for tuning in. This video will live on the Black Girl Everything YouTube channel, where now we have almost 200 videos, mostly of BioWalk or business interviews and some additional trainings for you all to tune into. When you visit the page, please don't forget to subscribe. And those of you viewing right now on YouTube, thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe and check out another one. We will be back next week, Tuesday, with another riveting interview. But this one has been amazing. And thank you. Thank you.